Here is the field for the second race. Mars Bar is number one, starting from post one with Chris Christopheru driving. Jimmy Tactor trains for Armstrong Brothers, one Mars Bar. 1A, Armbro Y Kiki races post four with the services of Bill O'Donnell. Bill Wellwood training for Armstrong Brothers. Arnold Egan trains for Stein Sjöli, Jos Bracco, Perron Clausen. Wally Hennessy drives from post two, number two, Norway, but my way. Malabar Miss three, trained by Jim Tactor for MCB Farm. Malboro's driving three, Malabar Miss. Pepe Levac number four, has post five. Trainer John Bax for Park Hill Stud, Glengate Farms, Paul McDonnell driving. Honey Levac five, from post six, trained and driven by Jim Tactor for A.B. Levac. Six is fun for us, from post seven, with Mario by Arjan, trainer Jim Campbell for Arlene and Jules Siegel. Seven L.E. Hall, races from post eight. Trained by Kevin Davidson for River Ridge Farm, driven by Steve Byron. Next to parade was a celebrity woman from post nine. Trainer Robert Turner for Celebrity Farms and driven by Trevor Ritchie. And Wendy Lane Hanover is number nine, starting post ten. John Campbell driving, trained by Brett Biddle for Dan Biddle. And racing under lease to Charles Keller and Charles Keller the third. Phillies and drivers for the 2001 Oakville Stakes Championship Final. The purse, over $536,000. And under nine minutes to post time, the carryover in... The 2001 Oakville Stakes Championship Final. And the two-year-old Phillies are off and trotting. And Allie Hall had a flying start. And Steve Byron is charging hard with this one. Armbro Waikiki is next away. Celebrity Woman is up on the outside. In between Phillies goes Pepe Levesque and Honey Levesque. Then down to the inside. Mars Bar is eased out of there to the flank of Malabar Mist. Norway But My Way is third from last. Off stride into the first turn. Fun for us. Malabar Mist. And she interfered with the favorite. Windy Lane Hanover in the backfield. Allie Hall had the quarter in 26. Seven and two. Uh, Ali Hall is on the lead. Celebrity woman off stride went Pepe Levesque. That's Armbro Waikiki and O'Donnell taking in from third. Now Honey Levesque sits in the four hole, but Armbro Waikiki is already pulling on the leaders. Mars Bar has been tagging along just off the speed in a good spot from fifth. Norway, but my way is sixth. After the first turn, traffic trouble. Well back to the inside for Windy Lane Hanover. Then back down trotting after a break was Pepe Levesque. Malabar missed and distanced fun for us is out of it from tenth. Ali Hall made the half in 57 seconds. Oh, that's a very hot tempo for these two-year-old Philly trotters. Ali Hall is still the one, though. On to the final turn. Umbra Waikiki had to relent and take in second. There's just three-eighths of the mile to go. Honey Levesque is caught first over. And in the second over slot, onto that final turn is Mars Bar waiting to kick in. Windy Lane Hanover now showing up into the top five. She's three wide already. She's out around Celebrity Woman. Norway, but my way. And Pepe Levesque, Ali Hall, the head straight leader Mars Bar comes out three wide right now and they're off three quarters of one 26 and two can Ali Hall hang on off of these fractions she's still there by six into the final eighth of the mile then Mars Bar Windy Lane Hanover has come a long way back Ali Hall Byron is trying to get her home desperately that's Ali Hall Windy Lane Hanover is too late Ali Hall goes wire to wire to win the Oakville at 23 to one over Mars Bar in Windy Lane, Hanover, and that's a stakes record of 157 and 1. Number 7, Ali Hall, the second race winner from Mohawk and 2001 champion of the Oakville Stakes. Garland Lobel Philly from Ali's Cat. Owned by the River Ridge Farm of Dunrobin, Ontario. Trained by Kevin Davidson and driven to victory by Steve Byron. Her second win in 11 starts this year is a life's mark and the Oakville Stakes record of 157 and 1. Ali Hall won the second race, the Oakville Stakes. Championship trophy presentation made in the winner's circle by Mr. H. Barry Hewson, Director of Racing for the Standard Red Division of Woodbine Entertainment at the Woodbine and Mohawk Racetracks. Greg Blanchard is standing by in the winner's circle. We'll go to his post-race interviews in a few moments.
All upsets tonight in the Oakville Stake final. Uh, Steve Byron, let's talk about the trip. Um, you took no prisoners there this week. Um, she had some late trot last time, but tonight uh, you were going right to the front. Was that the game plan? Yeah, last week I got locked in. She finished very strong. Um, I was planning on leaving night. I wasn't really going to let anybody go other than one of the favorites, so I just kept marching. And uh, were you aware of what was happening behind you, some breaking horses? I saw Paul make a break coming out of the fir first turn there. Other than that, I didn't notice who else run. More than a half a million dollars up for grabs here. Uh, what was your feeling about halfway down the lane? Oh, I kept looking back, and she was well in hand. Like, I was chasing her, but we had enough on them. All right, biggest win of your career? Yes. Yes. All right, All right Steve, congratulations. Job well done. Thank you. That's Steve Byron, the winning driver. Uh, let's speak now with the winning trainer, Kevin Davidson. Uh, for you, Kevin, where does this rank in your career? Oh, that's the best one for yet, for so far, for sure. Uh, you took over the training of this one uh, not that long ago. Um, what was your initial impression of the filly? Are you surprised she's been able to do this? I guess before I got her, she uh, just didn't have a lot of racing luck. Actually, the first time I raced her, she didn't get a lot of luck. She had the 11 hole, and uh, Steve's did a good job with her the next two starts. And last week, she was just fortunate to get into the finals. There was a draw for the fourth place finish, so we were pretty happy. And where does she go next? <clears throat> She'll go down to Kentucky. I think the bluegrass she'll race first, and if everything goes right, we'll be back here for the Breeders' Crown. All right, look forward to seeing her. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Those are the winning connections, Allie Hull. Big upset tonight in the Oakville Stake as Ontario scores a win here in 157-1. Horses on their way out for race.